Welcome, my name is Laurens Ham. Uh, I work at Cloud Printer as Development Manager and I will be presenting to you today how Cloud Printer is transforming the print industry using APIs. So we're transforming the print industry using our platform which is entirely based on APIs. Uh, we're connecting a legacy industry to the online world using these APIs and platforms. Today I will be talking about both sides of our platform, the print buyers and print providers, as well of course our global print API which is the core product and the main focus of our business. Um, then I will continue about what Cloud Printer is and what we do for our customers, uh, our journey throughout the years and a little wrap up what we learned over the past years and what would be handy maybe for you in the future. Um, so we provide a global uh, print API for global and local printing everywhere in the world, enabling customers to send any print job anywhere in the world to our API for the local printing and shipping. We were founded in 2015, so we're pretty young still. We have offices in Denmark, the Netherlands and Ukraine. Uh, we claim to be the leading global print API provider and we're still privately owned. But before we talk APIs, let me uh, explain to you what the printing industry actually is. It is a very traditional industry with legacy IT and a focus on atoms, not on bits. Meaning that investments are merely done in production and machines, not in software, automation or IT. So it's pretty hard to convince those people in this traditional conservative industry to make use of APIs and to explain to them what APIs actually are. Um, more that we see in the printing industry is that a lot of work is still done manually and not using software. For example, quotation is done manually uh, using fixed pricing sheets, which is very labor intensive, but also very mistake sensitive. Uh, there's also a black hole from the moment you order your print jobs till the shipping notification meaning that you have no idea or no clue how far your order actually is and what the status is in real time. And also there is still, uh, the common print order submission is still very diverse, meaning that all different kinds of printing facilities are still using FTP, email, web forms, WeTransfer, Dropbox, Google Drive, whatsoever to receive the actual PDFs of the print job. And not even all the time these uh, documents are PDFs. So there's a lot of challenge in this industry and we are trying to solve that using an API. We distinguish the following trends in the industry. Um, the main volume is driven by online e-commerce platforms and personalized print solutions providers. Uh, publishers are nowadays switching from Litho to short run, uh, from Litho and short run to print on demand to monetize their backlog. Um, and customers are now demanding um, fast and cheap or maybe even free delivery. There's an economies of scale in print sourcing to a few key partners and this is conflicting with the needs of the market as, as people are more and more wanting print on demand, so one single order, one single item per order. And we see that there are more and more startups that in the need of, are in the need of clear documentation and SDKs. So based on this, this, we extracted the following needs for print buyers in the world. They are in need of automation, integration, live quotation, local printing, and they are really in need of real-time production and shipping notification, so you know where you stand. How far is my order? How far, how long will it take until it arrives? Our solution for this is the Global Print API. This means that we are providing an API which is one single integration to a global print network for all print buyers across the world, as well as, uh, as, well as one integration for all print providers so that they get access to thousands of print buyers around the world. The print buyers will uh, mostly profit from lower shipping costs as we are printing locally, so in in the neighborhood of the address where they want to order actually. Um, that, so they also have shorter transit times. They can profit from local uh, labor costs and at last, but certainly not at least, 
we are transforming the print industry by reducing CO2 emissions uh, substantially by printing locally. On the other hand, for the print providers, we are driving more volume to, to them, as by one integration they get access to lots and lots of print buyers around the world. Uh, more technical, um, our platform is based on a microservice architecture, meaning that all small services and actions within the platform are running run by APIs. We have 18 publicly used APIs for all of our clients and the print partners and more than 20 internal APIs. The benefits of this is that services can be distributed among different services and everything will be very fast. Um, the structure is based on Docker containers and EC2 instances which are all run remotely on the Amazon servers. We make use of multiple geographical locations so we can ensure a high uptime and fast uh, tracking. Um, most of the system is written in PHP and C++ and all of the communication through the APIs is in JSON and XML. The main focus of our platform is scalability and performance. As also the real estate um, guy just said in the keynote, uh, we also have this uh, same focus, APIs first, application second, meaning that the core of our business is really the API. Everything is focused mm. about the API. Uh, with the API is merely split in two parts, the client API for the customers who are buying products from us and the pin partners who are providing these products to us, which when we in turn can provide to the clients. At the client side, we have the Cloud Core API, which was the very first API that we built, and which is for simple, easy, and direct integration with our platform. It allows for all major uh, fundamental services, such as the quotation of the products, the order submission, the webhook, so the signals, how far your status is, the API key authentication, and we included a lot of routing profiles and product templates in the core API. We recently um, launched the Cloud Apps API, which is merely uh, used for third-party integration, and for which we use open authorization. At the other side of our platform, we have the print partners, and we built for them the production API. This production API allows for order reception that of the orders that the clients at the client API are submitting, as well as exchanging production statuses, uh, providing the shipping and pricing from the print partners to us, as well as processing the certified PDFs that we create for them in the cloud. So, application second. Now that we have finished our uh, API or core platforms a few month, months ago, we're now building a lot of integrations with third-party platforms. At the Cloud Core API, we make a service called Cloud Publish. It is a uh, ready-to-go integration for major publishers in the world. They can just push an ISBN number to our cloud, and then we already know which book to print, and we can print it right away within a few days. We also recently launched uh, our PHP SDK for all the one-of-a-kind systems in the world, such that they can more easily start to integrate with our platform. Uh, in the middle you see the Cloud Apps API. As I just said, we are creating more and more apps such that our end customers can more easily integrate with the platform. We are developing these apps um, such as Shopify, WooCommerce or a Salesforce such that they are ready to go. They can just uh, activate the plugin that we already developed for them and they can send orders right away to our platform. At the production side of the, um, of the platform, we however had some problems. The printing industry is very traditional and conservative, and there's a lack of um, development knowledge or skills, or there's not even in-house developers in this industry. So we were, we were having a really hard time integrating more print partners. Um, that is why we were looking for a partnership for, um, and we found one and we uh, created it with Enfocus. 
And Focus is a major workflow solutions provider for printing facilities. So it has nothing to do with APIs, but it is just for the workflows within the printing houses. And they have thousands of clients around the world who are already using their automation software. So we thought if we can create an app for Enfocus, the platform is actually called Enfocus Switch, then we can readily uh, integrate all these print partners in one go with our platform as well. So that's what we did. We created a partnership with Enfocus. We built an app for their platform so that all print partners who are already running the Enfocus Switch software can now also integrate with our API. Just within a few hours, they can receive orders from the platform. So when an order is uh, submitted to our cloud by any of the apps or API integration, what actually happens? In our cloud, as we call it, we do custom and automated routing, as well as the quotation of the products and the shipping pricing. So customers can uh, real time see what will the price be, what will the shipping be, and when will the order arrive. This happens within a matter of seconds. So at the moment you order, uh, you upload your, uh, your, your PDF to our API, you can readily see what is the price and when will it arrive. We have more than 5,000 products pre-configured in the cloud, uh, such that uh, we can offer a large range of customers. Uh, as well as uh, we provide work in progress reporting, we have dashboards uh, showing the key performance indicators, and there's a lot of different production capabilities as well. As we're handling with a lot of clients at both sides at the platform, and customers who are buying print products, as well as print partners who are printing, producing the products, we are handling a lot of data. And we're saving all this data to base or routing upon it. By default, we are using our uh, smart AI routing, AI routing algorithm, as we call it, which makes use of more than 30 different parameters, such as the cost, the distance, the quality, the availability of the printers, um, and so forth, uh, such that we can order each, uh, such that we can uh, route each order that comes into the API as efficiently as possible around the world, such that all needs of the customers can be met. We also allow our business and enterprise clients to set up their routing profiles themselves uh, using those 30 parameters, and we can also do that for them if they want. As of May 2019, so last month, a few days ago, we were proud to announce that we have 157 connected print partners around the world, so it's readily pretty spread, and uh, we're hoping to expand this in the coming months and years. So what is your business model actually? We, use, we make use of non-volume based transparent print pricing. That means that all the customers know exactly what the raw printing cost is, and they pay this price to the printing facility. Um, on top of that, we make use of a software as a service uh, provider model, meaning that we charge a fixed job fee on each order. So irrespective of the size of the kind of product, we just um, charge a small job fee on the order. In addition, we offer paid support plans to our clients and print partners such that we can do the development work for them to get them integrated and tested as soon as possible. Of course, we are also dealing with a lot of challenges throughout the way. Uh, we have, as I said, we had a really hard time integrating new print partners as uh, a lot of these printing facilities, for example, in South America or Africa are not that technology driven yet. So the main challenge was speeding up the print partner integration time, as well as dismissing volume discussion, discussions as we don't know at the moment we integrate a partner, what the demand for the market will be, because we're always dealing with the chicken and the egg problem. If we don't have a par print partner in a certain area, we don't have clients in that area, and if we have a client and no print partner, we can't connect them. So we want to dismiss the volume discussions and just integrate as many people as we want. Um, 
We also want to get rid of standard uh, product standardization, such that we can serve all different kinds of customers. And at last, but certainly not at least again, we have a challenge creating awareness for the availability of APIs. A lot of times I walked in printing facilities and we sat with the board explaining our solution, how our solution would drive more volume to them. And when they asked what it was, we said it is an API. Almost none of the times they, they, know, they knew what an API even actually was. Uh, once one of the managers even thought that we were talking about this Indian beer called <laughs> IPA. <laughs> so what is next? Soon we will be launching Cloud Printer Industry, which is actually a white label of our API. We have basically finished the main structure of the API, and now we can also get a grant access to current large print providers and e-commerce providers, such that they can offer our API to their customers to receive more orders. We will also be launching Cloud Printer Express soon, which is actually a desktop application, such that we can connect all different kinds of Windows and Mac platforms directly to our API without the need to integrate. It features a virtual print driver such that you can print, uh, you can submit your print job from any desktop application that you are already using, for example, Adobe Illustrator or InDesign. Um, next to that, we want to uh, expand the service that we are using in the cloud first by starting to do pre-flighting of PDFs in the cloud, meaning that we want to check the sizes, the number of pages, but also if a certain font is included and the trend size is correct of an order that is submitted to our API, just that we can reduce the number of faulty uh, prints and we can reduce cost by this. Uh, lastly, we are more building and building apps um, for our marketplace, such that we can connect more clients that don't have any development knowledge but are using a certain platform already. So they can just click activate the plugin and or use the pre-made integration and get live within a few days instead of within a few weeks and a lot of development hours. So uh, in summary, how has our journey been at Cloud Printer? We have seen that the printing industry is very traditional and conservative. There's a lack of uh, IT knowledge. All of the investments are mostly done in uh, machinery. Uh, so we are having and had a really hard time getting them integrated to the API because it's still quite a new thing. Also at the other side, uh, we saw that clients are using a wide range of platforms and we want all these platforms to get integrated to us. But that's, of course, a lot of work. Um, throughout the years, we uh, kept our API as the core business element, and I think that was the solution. Uh, we always focus on how can we serve more customers or more print buyers by expanding our API. Uh, at the print partner side, as I said, we created a partnership with a major player in the print industry already, such that we could readily integrate thousands of print partners uh, within a few moments, as well as building apps and plugins to get clients integrated more easily. We also built this SDK to ease the integration of one-of-a-kind systems, which are mostly used by very large customers. Uh, takeaways, what we learned in the past years, we always, talk, uh, we always say to each other at the office, APIs are all about connecting different groups of people, not, not only systems, but groups of people. And you always need to focus on both sides of the platform separately. You need to ask yourself questions. How can we service the buyers and let them profit from the API? And how can we get the service from the provider, providers and also let them profit from the API? And then, of course, where do we get your cut? Uh, we did this. Uh, based uh, on partnerships, building uh, plugins for common platforms in our industry, and providing ready-to-go integration packages to speed up all of the integrations in the forms of apps and SDKs.
So that's the end of uh, this short business-wise presentation. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them.